So I'm Mona Considine. I'm Artistic Director at Backstage Theatre in Longford. Uh, we're a 212-seater auditorium and we also, in more recent years, have a studio space, which has been a great addition. Hi, my name is Roisin Whelan and I'm a dance artist based in Carlo. I'm currently working with choreography and uh, creating more works and also performing alongside that in Ireland. Yeah, I wouldn't so much say the role of the theatre has changed, although I, I, possibly our approach to that role has changed, uh, you know, as we've had to respond to COVID. Chiefly, that would probably for us have led to um, more of a concentration on artist sports and artist residencies because we found ourselves unable to deliver a programme to audiences. And it made sense, uh, you know, if we couldn't bring audiences in, then to make sure that we could bring artists in. You know, having both the main stage space and studio space allowed us to uh, offer a greater amount of residencies and the Activate programme when we introduced it was a great chance for us to not just offer the building as a support, as support to the artists, as space for the artists work, but also a bursary. So my link with Backstage actually goes back from when I was a teenager when I was at Shawbrook, um, which is also based in Longford. And I actually performed in backstage as like a 15, 16 year old with them quite a few times through supported residencies in Shawbrook. I was actually fortunate that Mona came to see my work uh, being performed at the end of that time, which was great. So I kind of jumped at the opportunity and when I saw the residency programme and as Mona said, like the bursary that was attached also really made it feasible and made it possible to, to work on my choreography. And so that was great to kind of establish that relationship again after a few years. I suppose I was fortunate to have a long-term artist in residence uh, this year uh, by the name of Maisie Lee. And I spoke to Maisie Lee, I suppose, a lot when I introduced the programme because I felt that I wanted the artist's perspective in how we how we shaped it. We made the decision that we would, make, we'd, we would put out an open call, but that we'd make it quite a simple process. We, we simply asked the artists if they were interested to submit a short piece about their residencies, what they plan to do, what they, um, how they might benefit from a residency at Backstage and uh, to send that to us together with um, a, their own CV and a budget, a simple budget. So it was great to be able to offer that programme and we were delighted that Roisin applied for it. Um, I was fortunate to have uh, seen Roisin perform in Shawbrook um, recently. It's allowed me kind of to develop my own style without a need to be honest to fill in an incredibly detailed application form, as Mona said. So, um, you know, it, the application form was about the artist, was about what they wanted to show and, and who, who they wanted to be. And it was great because I wasn't trying to break down every detail uh, of what I was going to do. I was just trying to un like explain how I would really use that time. This actually gave me an opportunity to kind of really go into this other avenue of, of choreography and actually has cemented that that's what I want to do which has been really really beneficial and it's kind of opened another door for me in Ireland so I, I've, I've spent a lot of time abroad in the last five years uh, training and also uh, working and so I've been really lucky that I've now come back to Ireland and actually for the first time it's been great to to be home and to feel this kind of Irish network and community of organisations that have been incredibly supportive I think that organisations with short term residencies, especially with backstage, you know, I felt really valued. I was there, like, and I was really valued as an artist to be there. They're really interested in what was going on, what we were doing. You know, they wanted to make sure that they were facilitating the best they could. A short term residency is a really great way of an artist and venue working together for the first time because it gives them both, you know, a chance to get to know each other. Um, for the artist to get to know the, the, the kind of the environment of the venue, to get to know the team, um, to get to know the supports that are there, um, and for the venue to get to know the artist and the artist's work and how we can best support them, you know. And I suppose for us, the hope would be that many of these short term residencies. Um, would lead to something you know longer and more meaningful eventually. I really hope to introduce a new a new program of activate residencies next year because I think it's really good for the venue. I think it's really good for the venue to be involved in work at a, at, at development stage and creation stage, and I think it's really good for the venue to develop those relationships with artists. So I suppose. That's the nice thing about COVID is it gave us a chance to dip our toe into the water, try something new, and we've discovered that we really like doing it and we really like having these artists in our building. And uh, and I think that's something that I'd like to see uh, continuing.